Black Beauty. Uh, YB TV. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I want to go over this, man, and just say it like this. If you don't want to die, keep watching. First off, I'm going to say it like this, man. Uh, I've been watching some in our community, and there's a lot of shit with our grandmamas. Yeah, definitely with the grandmamas. A lot of our grandmamas had cankles. If you're not familiar with what a cankle is, it's like, it looked like a knee and an ankle. You know what I'm saying? That motherfucker big as shit. It's like this thing, and they ankles look like this and shit. And you got to take a stud finder just to find their actual ankle. You know what I'm saying? They be fat and swollen and shit. Now, I don't blame our grandmamas. A lot of our grandmamas die early, and there be complications like cancer and all that shit. But we don't think it's from nothing, but, you know what I'm saying, a lot of us take the religious route, and they be like, well, God just called her home. No, he didn't. God did not call her home. And 9 out of 10, it probably wasn't even her time to go. The thing is, we gotta start changing the fucking things that we eat, man. I swear to God, like, now, for the grandmamas, a lot of them came from not knowing a lot because a lot of shit wasn't readily available, but now we got social media and the fucking internet. And you just got to pay attention to it. First thing I want to do, I want to get a shout out to Waka Flocka, man. That boy is a vegan. Waka Flocka is a vegan. Vegan meaning that he don't eat animal byproducts, eggs, milk, cheese, none of that shit. Unless he's vegan. He don't do none of that shit. So I shout out to Waka, man. He said, I, he, this is what he said. I got tired of being sick. Shout out to Walker, man. I'm trying to be back right behind you, bro. I'm trying. I'm winging off, but you know what I'm saying? The thing is, is that you cannot keep on eating the same shit and expecting different results. First off, why are we poisoning our grandkids, kids and grandkids and shit and teaching them how to poison each other? We invite them over, have fucking fried chicken smothered in gravy with some motherfucking, uh, with, with some, uh, or some yams, with some... With, with the with the mush, marshmallows in it, that's what I am about to say, marshmallows all on it and the brown sugar, that caked up ass uh, macaroni, then you gotta have a slice of pig ass, you know what I'm saying, you gotta eat the pig groceries and shit, the ham, and you know what I'm saying, like you got all these the mashed potatoes and the dressing, most of that shit break down in the sugar, and most of that shit loaded with sugar, mm-hmm, and you know what you just gave your grandbabies? Diabetes, high blood pressure, and probably blindness when they get over 50. All this shit got to stop, man, and change. Look, I'm eating different. Here go me in here juicing. You know what up? You already know what it is. Today, we chopped, then chopped up some apples. These are beets, and these are carrots. You know what they all got in common? All organic. Come on, let's rock and roll. Time to turn on the juice. Beats carried it out. Alright man. Yeah. Okay. Mix it up. Try to drink it down. Bon appetit. Oh, that's fucking delicious right there. Damn. That shit is so I love the beet juice. I swear to God. Damn that shit good. I, I know that wasn't why I'm, you know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to make this too, too long. Now, here goes some of the small changes that I've made in my refrigerator. Just small ones, small changes. You can do the same shit. You can do some of them. All organic fruits and vegetables. More organic fruits and vegetables. Almond milk. This right here is lactose-free, no milk in it. Uh, veggie cheese, cheese made out of vegetables. That's all I'm saying right there, man. Like, I'm gonna keep this one simple. Listen, man, we cannot keep on doing this. Shout out to my man, Q Dog. You already know he just had a newborn baby. He buying a Nutribullet, he going straight organic, 
and he neutralizing all his kids food which means bananas pears all organic he gonna be getting the peas and the carrots all organic take that shit drop it in his neutral bullet with a little bit of juice for flavor hit about three times zzz, zzz, zzz. and he got baby food for his baby for today and the next day and they can put it in the little containers and it'll be all organic healthy that's all this boy this boy ride around with a trunk full of alkaline water with a pH level of 8.5 on it like and he a straight hood dude stayed in O block half his fucking life like you know what I'm saying and this dude on that shit though so it's about that time for us to start making little changes man fellas I already told you alright wait till you get 40 your dick don't work no more don't be blaming everybody else and praying to Jesus and shit Jesus ain't gonna be able to save you nigga only your diet can and ladies I don't know what the fuck you laughing at because all those complications and yeast infections and all that shit come from what y'all eating too. So if you got that stanky panky, you know what I'm saying? Maybe you need to start eating some more fucking vegetables and drinking some water, ladies. So I'm just trying to keep it real, man. I hope this helps a lot of people, man. Check it out, man. You can do this shit too, man. I swear to God, man. Come live with a motherfucker, man. I don't want to be the only 80-year-old nigga from the neighborhood that's still able to walk around without a fucking wheelchair and shit. Because I ain't pushing none of you niggas. Push the fuck off, nigga. Better get a motorized one if you're gonna count on me. You shouldn't have been eating all that pig ass, nigga. Eating the pig ass like groceries. Why be? You already know what it is. If you don't want to end up in the box, think outside that motherfucker.